A hey, warning tonight to parents and teenagers about the dangers of smoking marijuana. Our Daniel Campbell takes a look at the results of a new study. Today's marijuana is not the pot your parents or grandparents may have smoked. Lisa Glosser, a Smithtown mother of two high school teens, agrees. The parents saying that it's not the worst drug is not right. A new study done by the American Academy of Pediatrics found that today's marijuana is much more potent and potentially more risky. It's not whether it's legal or illegal. It's not whether it's right or wrong, whether it's healthy or unhealthy. Stephen Chasman, director of the Long Island Council on Alcohol and Drug Dependence, says the pot kids are smoking today is a pumped up potent hybrid that can have detrimental effects on teens and tweens. So this has been hydroponically and genetically spliced where the THC levels are quite high than Mother Nature ever intended. The pediatric journal study warns parents the brain does not fully develop until the age of 25. Teens who use marijuana at least 10 times a month develop changes in the brain which affect memory and the ability to plan and that some changes may be permanent. The report also found that frequent use starting in the early teen years may lower IQ scores and lead to addiction. Lycad says out of the 1,000 people that come through their offices for help with addiction each month, they all got their start with alcohol and marijuana. The report quotes doctors who say it's important to speak to your kids about pot because many states have legalized medical and recreational use for adults. It has to start at home. It can't be made to be okay. You know, and, and it's just like anything else. It's still a drug. Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island.